You know how our parents always talk about how lazy we become because of how comfortable all of us have it? I mean, I don't know about you, but calling this comfortable is sort of stretching it. Anyways, remember how they always say, back in our days, we had to climb 10 mountains, cross the seven oceans, fight a lion, and God knows what else just to read school. Yeah, they used to exaggerate a bit, right? Well, except for one thing, the amount of books they used to read. My point is, people don't read as many books in their childhood as they did a few decades ago. Hello and good morning, everyone. I'm Adil Singh Gupta, a self-taught full-stack developer, or as my friends would describe me, that guy who's always seen around with his trusty companion that he'll probably end up marrying someday. No, it's not a girl. It's, of course, my laptop. They wouldn't allow me to bring it up on stage, but trust me, I love that thing. <laughs> OK, time for a short backstory. As a child, I was very fond of reading, so much so that I would spend hours at crossword until my parents dragged me back home. Yeah, no, that's a lie. I wish that was true, and I could tell you this amazing, elaborate story about how I came up with my idea. But well, the truth is, during the lockdown, I, like everybody else, used to watch a whole lot of YouTube. Unfortunately for me, my parents would constantly breathe down my neck and nag me to stop wasting my time and to do something new and unique. <clears throat> You know how you would sit down to relax, start watching YouTube, or scroll on your phone after hours of studying, and then, at that moment, your parents would enter your room, see that you're not studying, you're not doing anything productive, and have YouTube open? And then they'll start yelling at you. Yeah, that was me. Except for the fact that I would study for only minutes instead of hours, before opening up YouTube. I would, of course, argue that I was studying this entire time. But an argument with your parents is one that even Harvey Specter can't make you win. Now, my parents' constant push for me to do something made me start thinking of an idea. Eventually, I thought of something, and they were happy with it. At the time, I was doing it solely to please them. I never thought I would ever actually make something of it. But well, two years down the line, I had just gotten a taste of how it feels when someone tells you, Adil, this application you created, it's amazing. It helps me so much. And I wanted more of that feeling. I wanted to help more people. I wanted to make an impact. That's when this idea suddenly struck me again, and I started work on Swapart. I began this talk by mentioning that children's reading stamina has been on the decline since a while now. And well, if you're an Indian mother, I'm 110% sure that the first thought you just had was that it's because of the screens. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's not the complete truth. A more contributing reason is, in fact, the way parents and teachers introduce reading to students. Sounds like the tables have turned, don't they? Let's take my example. As a child, I remember my mother dragging me to Crossford one day, making me pick a few books, and asking me to finish a few pages each day. Sounds completely innocent, right? Except being told to read and having a goal set by someone else completely took out all the fun from it. Consequently, I started hating reading, thinking that it just wasn't for me. Fast forward three years, I was bored during break time in school, and I randomly borrowed a book from a friend. That book was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The next thing I knew, I was completely indulged in the Harry Potter universe in a month or two's time. Now, up until now, I used to think I hated reading. But well, this small encounter changed everything. 
My mother, like all parents, of course had good intentions when she bought me those books. She wanted me to have an early start at reading, allowing me to gain its endless benefits quicker. Unfortunately for her and many other parents, that had the opposite effect of pushing my self-discovery of reading even further. The name of my application, Swapat, comes from two Sanskrit words, together meaning self-reading. It has one very simple goal, to make children fall in love with reading. Swapat believes, Swapat believes that children must discover reading on their own, at their own pace. To accomplish that, it provides students with a large book library right at their fingertips. Oh, by the way, did I mention it's a mobile application you download to your phone, not a library along with a librarian that's delivered to your house. I'll tell you a little secret from my childhood. If you offered me a reward to do something, I was much more likely to go ahead and actually do that task, no matter how boring I might have originally found it. That's exactly what Swapad does. It utilizes gamification features similar to those found on addictive attention-grabbing apps like Instagram and Reddit to make children keep coming back to the application for more and more reading. These features include badges for different milestones, leaderboards to encourage friendly competition, daily reminders, streaks, and many more. Lastly, Support also recognizes the crucial role parents and teachers play in their child's reading growth. Thus, it collects data about their child's reading behavior and shares that through graphs and statistics with them, ensuring that they are at peace of mind. Because, well, honestly, if the parents and teachers are happy, the child is most definitely happy. Currently, I'm working I'm working on a production version of Sapat, a prototype version of which is already available on the Google Play Store. I worked with the Shikson Samiti to have my project piloted by approximately 100 students so far, receiving highly positive results in return. Parallelly, I'm also working on a gamification-based concept, a research paper for, my, for Sapat's gamification-based concept. So, I regularly drink 10 cups of coffee a day and survive on pizzas as any normal programmer does. Just kidding, that's an exaggeration. I'm still in high school and I have an Indian mother. I don't think I need to add anything else to that. That was all. Thank you so much.